Hi, you've reached the great escapism. We're all home right now. Hello? Hi, sweetie. That was a really long wait. <laughs> Aw, I'm so sorry, honey. I'm a very busy girl, but we're finally together. Was all that information really necessary? <laughs> oh, baby, I promise you it'll be worth every penny. Now, what's your name, sexy? It's, uh, Hobe. Like, uh... Hobart? Hmm. Okay. Hobe. What are you doing tonight, Hobe? Actually, wait. It's, uh, it's, um, it, uh, it's Job. Yeah, it's Job. Okay. Hi, Job. Hi. Have you ever done this before? Uh, nope. <laughs> hmm. I love popping cherries. <laughs> What are we celebrating tonight? Is it your birthday, Job? No. Aw, too bad. Well, is it soon? Maybe we can pretend. Uh, not really. It's in July. July what? July 3rd. Why? Hmm, a water sign. We're gonna get along just fine, Job. Now let's get down to business. What are you doing right now? Uh, no, no, no. I told you my name. Now you have to tell me yours. <laughs> oh, my. I almost forgot. My name is Clementine. Like the orange. As in Florida, the orange state. Hello? Yeah? My goodness, Job. I thought I lost you for a moment, and I was so sad. Is that really your name? Mm-hmm. That's me. Is something the matter, Job? No, nothing. It's fine. Okay. Well, enough about me. What are you wearing right now, Pumpkin? Uh, it's like this reddish polo with like a little pocket and, and my cargo shorts. Mmm, yum. Wanna guess what I'm wearing, Job? Probably nothing. Bingo. Wanna know what I'm doing? Sure. I'm laying on my bed. Are you in your bed too, Job? No. Ooh. Where are you? I'm in my... grandma's basement. Oh. Okay. Are you watching pornography videos, Job? Pornography video? Who says that? No, I, I'm not watching porn. Do you like pornog... porn, Job? Uh, sometimes. When I'm lonely. Aw, sweetie. Well, I'm with you now, so you can't be lonely. Why don't we get started? Here, I'll make the first move. Hmm. I can see myself in the mirror, and I look so sexy. I wish you were right next to me. You have a lot of confidence. I sure do. Must be nice. Why don't we slip off those cargo shorts, sweetie? I'm sure you've got plenty to be confident about. Uh, sure. Now, I want you thinking about me. Want to know what I look like? I guess. I'm five foot. Five foot what? Nothing. Just five foot. Well, you're like a, a what you even call it, a, a, a little person? Mm-hmm. I'm teeny tiny, and I do a ton of yoga, so I'm very flexible. You can bend me however you'd like. Job? 
Job. Uh, hang on. Okay, sweetie. No pressure. I'll just keep talking. My hair is dirty blonde with some red... Jesus, please, please don't talk so much. Okay, pumpkin. And, and can you please stop calling me that? Whatever you need, pumpkin. I'm here to help. I don't need your help. I need to concentrate. Maybe I could just... Shut the fuck up, Clementine. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. That, that was a total dick move. You probably have to deal with, like, horny douchebags all night. Now I'm one of them. I, I, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. That was just, like, awful. No, no. There's nothing wrong with you, Job. Sweetie, you're probably just a little nervous. Ooh, that's my job. Right back on the horse. Yeehaw! <laughs> oh my god. Um, are you okay? Do you want me to? call you back or no, no, don't fucking leave me okay okay i'm not going anywhere i'm right here why that name excuse me why clementine why i'm sorry i don't know oh what... god i'm gonna be sick <laughs> So, um, I think maybe I should go. No. Okay. Then, do you want to, like, talk about it? Funyuns. What? I was getting Funyuns. From the hospital vending machine. Couldn't have taken more than two minutes. When I came back, she was... Gone. Just... Gone. Body, her mind, her soul, they'd taken all of it. She just, like, evaporated. I visited every single day for three months without fail, knowing that this day would come, but secretly pretending that it wouldn't. Those last days, though, when it got really bad, I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. It was the least I could do for the woman who had taken such good care of me when, when no one else would. I doubt I slept more than an hour over those three blurry days. I didn't want to. I was terrified. Terrified that if I dozed off, her time would come and she'd be alone. I just couldn't stand the thought. She deserved better. She deserved everything. But I had to leave that room. January 23rd, 2020, 9.36 a.m. I just had to leave that room. Her final moments on this earth and I was pressing E9 on a fucking vending machine. And my worst fear came true. Grandma died alone. Clementine Eleanor Richardson. The greatest woman I have ever known. <sighs> hey, are you... Are you still there? You're so brave. I know. It was just a stupid coincidence. 
You're human. You needed to eat. I know. I tell myself that every single day, but it doesn't get any easier. She was lucky to have such a loving young man by her side. My hand was sore for weeks, just from holding her so tight. Ugh. It's just so... so... sad. <sighs> oh. Can I ask you something? Anything. Can we start over? Like how? Like... Real names? Honesty? No more bullshit. No more... Accent. <laughs> I would love nothing more. <laughs> Phew. Okay, thank God. Real names on the count of three. One. Two. Three. Peter. Sarah. <laughs> 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 hmm. Peter Richardson. Sarah... something. Hmm. Peter, I wish I could be with you in your grandma's basement holding you. That must be so triggering. You need love right now. I really do. I'm just so alone. What you said was beautiful. It shook me to my core. You're so vulnerable. And that is sexy. I mean it. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, and by the way, just since we're being honest... I'm 5'9", thin as a noodle, and I've tried yoga once. Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where are you from, Peter? Uh, Northern California. No way. I'm from Northern California. Wait, really? Yes. Oh my god, we might actually be really close to each other. Where in Northern California? Sacramento. Oh my god. No way. What part? Elk Grove area. Shut up! What zip code? Oh, uh, 95624. Same! I went to... Sheldon! Husky Bride, baby! What? Thundering herd all the way. <laughs> I guess we're uh, sworn enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I've never done this before, but would you ever want to maybe meet? Like, IRL? Um, yes, I didn't know how to ask. Yay! I'm so glad. Wow, this is exciting. <laughs> What's your number? As soon as we get off, I'll call you from my cell. Perfect. It's 530-439-3934. Uh, oh my god, I'm so excited. <sighs> Me too. Okay. I'm gonna hang up now. I'm so glad you shared that story with me. You're a good person. You're a good man. So stop beating yourself up, okay? I'll try. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye, Sarah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lucky bastard. Hi. Hi. Is this... Peter Richardson? Uh, yeah. Hi there, Peter. I hope you're doing well this evening and sorry to bother you. My name is Joan with Bank of America, and I'm calling about a few recent transactions on the card ending in 3699. 
Okay. Great. Now, it was flagged as suspicious activity, but it's probably nothing to worry about. These things happen all the time. I'll just need to run through your most recent transactions, starting with a charge for $79.99, made today to a thick, that's T-H-I-C-C, Girls Anonymous. Was that you, Peter? Yes. Wonderful. Now, the next two transactions were a withdrawal of $3,800, followed by a wire transfer for the same amount to a company called Clementine's Antiques and Furniture, LLC. Were those both you as well, Peter? No. All righty. Well, it sounds like we've got ourselves a case of good old-fashioned fraudulent activity here. But fear not, we'll get to the bottom of this right away. Now, as part of our protocol, just to cover our basis, I do have to ask you, have you recently shared your personal information with anyone? This would include, but is not limited to, phone number, zip code, and date of birth. Peter, are you still with me? Clementine was written by Alex Harris and performed by Will Dagger, Laura Darrell, and Mary Elena O'Brien. The Great Escapism is produced by Jennifer Downs and John Pena Griswold through New Ambassadors Theatre Company 